Okay, so we are doing your prescription review today, is that right? Excellent, okay. Can I just double check your name and date of birth? Excellent, okay, so let's have a little look. So it's been a couple of months since I last did your review. How are you feeling at the moment? Okay, so you can see here that you are prescribed tramadol and that is because of the injury to your back and your back pain. How is that going? Okay. Okay, how many tablets do you take a day? Do you take the prescribed amount? Yeah, most days. Okay, and is the pain in your back getting a bit easier? A little bit, but not too much difference. Yeah, okay. tramadol um, for this prescription for the next couple of months and I'm going to keep you on the same dose as well. I think next time we'll see if um, the pain is going down and if it is we will maybe lower the dose. Okay, we'll keep that on there for now and you're also being prescribed some ibuprofen gel as well to kind of get to the areas that the tramadol doesn't get to, is that right? Okay, and uh, will you be needing any more of those? No, okay. You've still got plenty from last uh, month, okay. So I will take the ibuprofen gel off this time if you've got plenty. Um, if you feel like you need some more uh, next time we do your review just let me know and we can always pop it back on. Okay, but are you sure you've got plenty? Okay, so I'm gonna take that off. recently you were prescribed a propranolol um, for anxiety. How is that going? Okay. Okay, and do the medication help? I know it's a symptom uh, medication, so you start feeling anxious and then you take the medication to help the, you know, anxiety symptoms. It's kind of take it as and when you need it uh, sort of medication. Do you feel like they help at all with your anxiety? Okay. I mean, you've only been on them for a little while, so I think... Have you run out? Yeah. I think what I am going to do is keep you on them, keep the dose the same. So basically take one as you need it, but you can take up to three a day. And we will see if it helps any more next time I see you. If it turns out that they are not, you know, helping very well, good, then we may have into something else, okay? I mean, do you do anything else to help your anxiety? Um, do you talk to anybody? Do you listen to music, you know, meditations, things like that? Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Some good support there. Excellent. 
Excellent, okay. Well, just keep doing what you're doing for now. And hopefully the tablets kind of work um, a little bit better um, for you. Is there anything else that's troubling you? Have you got any other issues? Got any questions? Yeah, so I'm just prescribing Tremadol and the Propranolol this time. Same, same dose, yeah. These will be ready at the chemist for you by the end of today, okay? And if that's everything we are done here, yep, no problem. Enjoy the rest of your day, okay? Bye bye. Come in, take a seat. So we are here to just do your prescription review today. Okay, can I just check the name and date of birth? Excellent. Always want to check that we've got the right person. So how are you feeling? Okay, pretty good. Let me have a look what's on your prescription then. Okay, so we've got insulin and needles, okay. When did you see the diabetic nurse? Oh, okay, so two weeks ago. And how did that go? Okay, excellent. She's quite happy with what you're doing with your diabetes and how it's going. Okay, she hasn't changed your insulin at all, has she? There's no notes on here, but I just want to check. No, it's still going to be the same as last time. So it's 25 units, isn't it? Okay. So I'm going to pop that on there and a box of needles. Okay. Okay, so you weren't happy with the new needles last time. Can I ask why? Okay. Okay, so I will request for the older types of needles for you for this time, okay? Is this causing your back and joint pain or do we not know? Okay. Right, okay, and when was that? Okay, so it was just a few weeks ago. Okay. And what is the dose? Okay, up to four a day. Are you taking the whole dose a day? Yeah. And do you find that they're helping with the pain? A little bit, okay. Yeah, okay, well they're just a painkiller so it's, you know, it's just going to uh, kill the pain for a little while and then it, it's, it's going to come back unfortunately. Um, you know, it's just, you're just going to take time to heal and for the pain to go, fully go away on its own unfortunately. We'll keep the Zapane 
on here though and the same dosage okay don't really want to take it any more if you're still getting you know pain i would recommend maybe just over the counter paracetamol or ibuprofen okay to um help um the zap pain to work a little bit stronger okay and then maybe next time i see you we'll see how the pain is going how you're man managing it and if it's getting a bit easier, I might cut the dosage down a little bit. We don't really like people to be on certain painkillers, especially zap pain, for a long time. They can become addictive and um, I would rather you be kind of weaned off them. Okay. So, let me see. Okay, last thing on your prescription is Lanzaprozol, okay, which we've kind of given you... Um, to take side by side with the zapping, okay, just to protect your stomach lining a little bit um, But you do take them for stomach acid as well uh, It's on here that you suffer with that a little bit um, Are they working? Are they are good for you? Okay Oh, excellent, that's fine So You will keep them on the prescription for now, especially with the zapping, okay Again, you kind of take at least, um, do you take one a day? Okay, so you take one when you have um, like acid reflux or heartburn, okay? And take one every other day. Um, okay, so um, is there anything else? Do you have any questions, concerns? Okay, so I'm going to get this sent to the chemist for you and it should be there by the end of today. Okay, so if there is nothing else, that is it. Excellent. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.